Alright uh, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick guide on proxy rushing your opponents for the lower elos, sort of. So what you want to be doing is playing a map like Bandit Canyon or Inland or something like that where you can sort of actually position it basically behind your opponent's base. And I'm just gonna kick it off. Playing champion mode, because that way that way we get carnivore mode. It's actually playing on good old Bandit Canyon, everyone's favourite map, including Zertans. Let me try and find my first hunt. Here's a can. Try and set up. Fairly economically to begin with. That's pretty lucky. Yeah, so I found my first hunt, which is pretty lucky. I'm gonna take my first storehouse as well as my first wood storehouse as soon as I can as well. Get as close to TC range as possible. Come, come back. And these guys down here, actually. Put me workers up on the hunts. What I'm gonna do is make it look like I'm opening fairly greedily to begin with. I'll actually take this now. What I'll do as well is sort of figure out a nice spot to park some villages. I'll just get a little more wood behind this. And so here's his clip face. What I'm going to try and do, put the Raxes somewhere, sort of tucked away, to sort of deny one of these spots of resources again. I can even look at doing this. Another villager there as well. We're probably going to need a bit of wood behind this, maybe a bit of food behind this. Look at actually clearing this out for him. How generous of me. Or maybe not. I'll grab a pair of these guys. Put them both. Send them both up here. Sort of try and hide it as best I can. I guess I continue to scout up. Over there. And like I said, get a fair bit of wood so I can get double racks. Even get a little bit more food being kelp because I need to get age 3. My house is up, like I'm opening fairly greedily. I can sneak in on age 3 as these pop. So I'll throw down this barracks, walk away just down here, just sort of out of sight, because let's assume that he's taking his hunts up on the other side. I can always go and raid that if I need to. Or if he's just staying on the high ground. And look at... Yeah, just say rushing into him. So for now... Actually, let's assume he's just stayed high ground. A lot of low reload players will honestly just stay high ground. So got that all set up. So I can just build another... Max. So now I'm pretty much all set up to move in from the kill. I'll just figure out what the hell he's actually doing. What he's got. I'll guess day. Find some more hunts on my side of the map. I suppose. It's two's pop, so I'm actually just gonna skip. Let's go straight for conditioning and the long swordsman. Even look at doing something a little bit dirty, pinching his hunt. Try and get some nice distribution across everything here. Okay, 
Yeah, it's some more hunts over my side of the map, so I'll clear them out as well. Not really worried about what he's doing because I'm pretty much set on my build. But I can look at actually adding in a range here as well. It's quite common to push out with either three Raxes or a range and two Raxes. Or if you're Norse, knock you the range and maybe get stables or two stables. Keep an eye on your population as well, even if you kelt, especially if you kelt, because you sort of boom up 15 population spaces really quickly, and then it all just sort of drops off. So I'll actually get a couple more houses thrown into the mix. Start really adding some more stone. I mean, more gold and wood to your economy at this stage. Rather than ore. In fact, I'll bring you back. But then for all the extra food that you do have, if you kelp, you can just obviously unload it into spears while you're trying to rush someone. So that's another little bit of a tip. Whatever resources you're floating, use those villages if you can to try and uh, build things because in that way you're sort of offloading it, not really locking your resources up anymore. I didn't opt to use one of my goal villages because I was really sensitive about not having the goal, but I probably sort of shouldn't have thrown down an extra house then because then it's sort of locked up. Getting to be able to use another thing. I'll actually pull these guys off. There. Don't do this. Bring you up to here. Sort of rotate that. Even take the hunt on this side. So he's scouted it now, and I can look at moving in because I've got a fairly reasonable force. I've actually left it a little bit late, but you can look at sort of pushing in a little bit earlier than this. You get more houses. So I will this time actually use my gold gatherers because I'm dumping all that wood, but I've also got gold in the bank, which I can spend on Spearman Champion. And now I'm pretty flush. More villagers. Try and loom just to free up population opportunity. Just get spears and slingers from here. And I can look at pushing in just after he's got his H2 Town Center before he's really got some value in most cases. And against lower level players, you'll probably just take games off them straight away because they won't even have the Town Center. Um, against AI, same sort of deal. From here, you can look at, you know, working towards getting your. Age 2 Town Center, even taking Chisel because you played so aggressively, getting all your eco upgrades you can. And yeah, just sort of. If you can force him to garrison everything, try and snipe the Town Center if he hasn't got any fighting units, otherwise, pull back if it's going to be too much for you. And yeah, guys, that's a bit of a guide to proxy play, I guess, as Celts, but you can sort of use tips for any sieve out of that. So, cheers for watching!